New York Yankees fans, how's it going yet again? It is Felix from nynews.com. Like always, hola como estas? Let's talk about Senor Arenado, who has won about five straight gold gloves, who has won two platinum gloves, and who is becoming a free agent next season. This has affected the market for Manny Machado. People might say, oh, Harper is not getting the money that he wants either. Well, there's word that he might return to the Nationals and they might give him the money that he's looking for or close to it. So, John Heyman just tweeted it out that Machado's camp is asking for North over Stanton, meaning they are looking for over $325 million. We all saw the fake news about the White Sox gaining momentum. If you follow me on Twitter, I called it as fake news for a number of reasons. First of all, teams are not going to go crazy overpaying for Manny Machado. Arguably, there's a better player next season that's going to be available. I'm not saying Arenado is better than Machado, but in my opinion, I don't know. You could make the case that he is. Specifically, a National League team like the Phillies, whatever, or even an American League team like the White Sox, they're going to be interested in in signing Nolan Arenado because one, he's going to be cheaper and really he's going to fly more under the radar than let's say a Manny Machado. They know this. This is why Manny Machado and his agent, they're not going to get the money that they're looking for. They could just stop it right there. Nobody's going to offer Manny Machado over 300 million. Nobody. Maybe 240, maybe 220, but nobody's going to go up there to 300 million knowing that Manny Machado has had surgery on his knees primarily i'm not saying that's the case i'm not saying this is why teams are not going to offer him 300 million dollars but you have to take that into consideration i'm not saying manny machado is going to break down either obviously in addition like manny machado to the yankees obviously it's going to improve the yankees look at their infield as of now i love Endor. i think he's going to be an offensive threat for the rest of his career he can't play defense Luke Voigt, horrible. Worse than Giambi at first. Then you have the uh, sophomore Jinx with um, Torres. Who knows how he's going to play? I'm not saying his defense is whack, but he had a lot of errors at second base. Then you have a guy that didn't even play last season replacing Didi Gregorius. And we all saw that Didi carried the 2018 Yankees when the Yankees were completely trash and he carried them in the beginning of the 2018 season. So the Yankees, as of now, as the team that they have right now, I think the Rays are going to give the Yankees a run for their money because I see the Yankees, as of now, as a second-place team. They don't have the team, in my opinion, that's going to knock the Red Sox for first place. The Red Sox are still set up as a pesky team that can hit with runners in scoring position and a manager that plays dirty. He's like the Ric Flair of all the managers. Cora is just going to play dirty. He's going to beat you however way possible. Also, if you follow me on Twitter, the ESPN guys down in Miami, they're confirming their words that Manny Machado has picked the Yankees. And really, that's logical. We all know Manny Machado wants to be a Yankee. He has told players specifically, they said that players that Manny Machado knows have told them that Manny Machado is picking the Yankees. So back to his agent, please. You're not going to get the money that you want from Manny Machado. Arguably, Nolan Arenado, who's superior to most, I think, number one to every baseball player in Major League Baseball defensively, is available next season. And he could hit. He could hit for RBIs, home runs, etc. This is why Manny Machado and his agent, they're not going to get the money that they want. Heyman tweeted out that Manny's camp is waiting for the Yankees to make their offer. I have told you. Numerous times, I have been told that the Yankees are going to move money first. They want to be confident that they can move that money, and they're going to make their official offer to Manny Machado. If it's in the range lower to, let's say, 220, 240, 250, or whatever, the offers that Manny Machado got, he is going to pick the Yankees. It's automatic. So Manny Machado was a great player, but in this market, in this day and age, he's not going to get the same contract or even a higher contract than what Stanton got. Again, teams knowing that Nolan Arenado is a free agent after the 2019 season. He's not going to get that money. He should stop it. Manny Machado should cut his losses 
signed with the New York Yankees, which I am confident that he is. And hey, call it a day. New York Yankees fans, like always, leave your opinions in the comment section below. This has been Felix from RoomWineNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time. Before it hits the front page, NYY.